but you're changing the rules. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. It's a kind of pornography. And welcome to Blood City. I'd shoot a man in the back. I'd shoot him in the front. I'd shoot him in the side. I'd shoot him in God's house if I took a mind to. By the time of City Slickers 3, Curly had developed a bit of an attitude. This is Blood City. A group of people wake up in the wilderness with no idea of how they got there. All we know is something happened. And nothing in their pockets but a card telling them how many murders they committed. You killed five soldiers? What'd you do, kiss them to death? That's 2001's Keir Delay, and with a jackass attitude like that, he can only be the hero. I want some help. And yet, when that woman is raped by outlaws, it's not Delay's Lewis who steps up. I got a few words I want to whisper to this pretty little lady here. You come with me. Oh. No, you let her go, you pig! After they're taken into town by Sheriff Jack Polance... Name is Friendlander. She's threatened again, and again... Oh, no. Back side, it's about as pretty as the first side. Come on, Gil. That's enough! All right, he's being smart. Heroism is all very well, but look what happened to the guy who tried to help. You don't take unnecessary risks. I'm going to get myself a pair of boots. Unless your feet are cold. Tell you what you need, mister. You need some sense knocked into you. The last guy to speak out of turn got shot, but when Lewis does it... Maybe you want some sugar in it, is that what you want? <laughs> Pranks of the Old West. Lewis has an unbelievable survival strategy. Piss everyone off and trust to luck. I ain't gonna miss you this time. I don't know what happened there, but now he's a citizen instead of a slave, and in a position to help the girl, who is destined to become the sex slave of the bad guy. Mike, please, I need some help. It's not that easy. I'm new here, I want to make a good impression. I don't want to be the guy who stops a man from raping his slaves. You're beginning to disappoint me. His very next action is to nail the sheriff's girl. <laughs> Even though... Well, what would he feel about you and me being up here together? He'd probably kill you. So, willing to risk his life to get laid, or for boots, just not to help someone else. Literally, the only thing Lewis does for that girl is to stop her from being hysterical. In the usual way. I'm sorry. There is another aspect of Welcome to Blood City that needs mentioning. Terminate that one. It seems to be some sort of game. You should know by now that everything that happens in the game plan happens for a reason. And yet a game that has some serious purpose. We are trying to find women and men emotionally and physically equipped for leadership. And this was the obvious way? That's why Blood City was created, darling. We don't the losers. So, the government uses a virtual reality game to find natural leaders and then kills the ones who fail. <laughs> It's vaguely reminiscent of Patrick McGoohan's The Prisoner. You know who you are? You are, mister, number nine. I am not a number, I am a free man! Not funny. Now, just to be clear, I think this whole idea is moronic. What do you learn about leadership by having someone raped? We've got to have results. But it doesn't even work on its own terms. Why is Jack Palance's character still in the game? We have something rather special in mind for our man, Friendlander. That pays off in no way. It's a line that's been added to cover a plot hole that instead draws attention to it. Only a fool, fool with a fool. Lewis is apparently ideal. I believe that we have a suitable candidate for Killmaster in Michael Lewis. Which suggests that complete self-interest is a leadership quality and ignores the fact that Samantha Egger's scientist is using her in-game avatar to help him. 
You have no right to program yourself into this game. Sometimes more than help. <laughs> Everyone knows she's doing this, and it again blurs the line between this being a game and a serious military operation. You are jeopardizing. Hello? You are jeopardizing the entire project. The impression we're given is that this is a country at war. We're losing killmasters faster than we can replace them. We are falling behind. Desperately in need of the brilliant military leaders this ridiculous project will provide. And yet one of the lead scientists is using it as a way to get her rocks off. It's not very scientific. Then she gets jealous when Lewis objects to her killing the other girl. <laughs> for whom things really didn't go well, and withdraws her support. <laughs> I'm afraid Mr Lewis has not come up to my expectations after all. Not that it matters, as the procedure drives the successful candidates mad. <laughs> Final verdict? I guess it's better than kicking the ass. <laughs> guess again. And that is a fact. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe, or if you're feeling like a real hero, support us on Patreon. What's your favourite cult movie in which the government indulges in some mad science project? Let us know in the comments below. For the last time, get out.